I did it. I finally stole the moon, and also the limoncello, from that leshy guy. Uh, in fact, I stole all of his cards, and we're gonna be, uh, beating him with his own cards today. Uh, this is what happens when these are in your deck. They get shrunk- shrunked. I don't know. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, so we can... <laughs> We can transfer these sigils. <laughs> Let's see how that goes for us. Uh, sure, Mole. Well, no, he already has one of those sigils. How about on... Yeah, sure, how about on Starvation? Let's see what happens. Does it gain all the sigils? Oh, it sure does. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, uh, we'll see how that goes. We lost the limoncello already, but you, you, don't worry about it. Hello, Leshy. How are you today? You're not gonna be too happy with me in a, mom a moment here. Uh, so what's interesting is that Strange Frog does cost one blood, despite being a Leshy exclusive card. Uh, but not some of the other things. Alright, here's a zombie parrot. Pack Mule... Is he gonna have a pack? I don't- okay, I guess not. Pack Mule is just this. I don't know about that. That's not too helpful. Alright, uh... Oh! Leaping Trap, sure, why not? Let's see how this works. Is it gonna give me a belt? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> and there's Omni Strike Starvation. How is this gonna... Oh. Interesting. So it doesn't hit directly as long as Leshy has a card, just like how the moon doesn't hit you directly. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, there's the moon. Uh, uh, how do I play this? Okay, so this requires sacrifice, despite not having a blood cost on it, but I have to sacrifice something apparently, I can't just play it. It's a one blood. The moon is a one blood card. Okay, we'll sacrifice a uh, pack mule. And uh... oh, that's good. Yeah, that's normal. Can I play more things? Yeah, I can. Okay, this is fine. This is normal. Oh, they're attacking the moon. What? Stop hitting the moon! No. Uh oh. <laughs> The game is frozen. Uh, I think I broke it. All right, so I think it turns out maybe you can't actually use the moon. We can use it for a sigil transfer though, but this sigil really isn't all that useful. I mean, it's not bad, but it prevents you from hitting Leshy directly unless he has no cards. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll re-add the limoncello and see how that works real quick. See if anything's different about that. And then maybe we'll restart the run just without a card that's going to break uh, the game, perhaps. So let me add the limoncello back in. All right, so now we have the limoncello instead. Uh, so let's see if that works any differently. I wonder how Leshy feels about his own cards being used against him. All right, we've got the same hand here. That's fine. Zombie parrot, sure, you can do a couple damage. Leaping Trap. You know, I want to see what happens specifically when we draw the card, because it's it's tiny when we view our deck. But when we draw it, which maybe is right now... No, okay. Oh, that's right, it was it was the next card. Hold on a moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Cool. This is also a one blood cost card. Great. This is just in my hand now. What if I put him in this zone? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Sure, why not? Summon some other cards. Uh. What are you- are there- What the heck? Oh, Royal, is that you? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what the heck was that? Alright, well, I think once again I've 
soft locked because they're just fi well actually not because eventually we'll uh, we'll kill the limoncello I guess but they're just fighting each other I don't know what limoncello is shooting I have no idea and I don't know why he's shooting twice either also I don't know why we're talking about Ashton Schwabi. It'll be interesting to see if Bait Bucket does indeed give us a shark, by the way. Uh, but if we're testing other things right now first. What, did Starvation just attack five times? <laughs> uh, wow, okay, that was quite a display. Leshy's ready to surrender based on just that alone. Hey, man, it worked. We just we just beat Leshy with, uh, with whatever the heck that was. Okay, I'll take it. I'm gonna leave some zones open next time we- Whoa. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> I've broken the game. We'll see if it breaks or not, but I do want to try the Limoncello again, because it seemed like he was trying to summon Skeleton Crew, but I had the zones full, so maybe that'll do something. Uh, I'll take a Dire Wolf Pup, sure. Uh, Lashy, you forgot to pick up a couple of your cards. They're under the map right now. There they are. Oh, now they're under the rocks. Okay, this is chaos. Uh... Let me put Dire Wolf Pup on, uh, the Mole Seaman. We'll see what he evolves into. Actually, that's a good question. What would some of these things evolve into? Elder Bait Bucket? Like, what? Uh, <laughs> maybe we should have put it on something else. Um, so these are not actually here, are they? We're okay. This is weird. I guess we'll see. Man, get it? Ha ha ha. Good one, Exo. Shut up. Okay, no, these are not actually here. They just look like they're here. Okay, yep, that's normal. Awesome. What is that, 42 health? Great. This is normal. Nothing weird here. You might want to take those cards off the table, buddy. I hope those aren't, like, permanently stuck there. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that's normal. Uh, what if I buff the Limoncello? Alright, it has three attack now. Probably shouldn't risk it. Okay. Mmm, the ship's all nice and warm now. I kept it warm for you, Royal. You're welcome. Uh, I would like to draw the the limoncello, please. That's not the limoncello. Oh, we're just gonna kill Leshy. Uh, whoops. Can't really get rid of this. Okay, this will work. Uh, this is a little weird, a little strange. What's going on here? Sure, skeleton crew. Why not? Might as well. <laughs> Whoa. Any day now, we'll draw the limoncello. That's not it. Um, if only Leshy wasn't playing his favorite flying cards, we could see what Bait Bucket does. Uh, it's funny, you don't see the snowy fur under Raven because it's flying. That's that's cool. There's the limoncello. Awesome. Let's summon it, please. Uh, I'll put it in this zone. All right, sure. Also, Zombie Parrot. Uh, let's see what this does. It's attacking the Limoncello. That's not great. Am I gonna lose be- oh. Okay, so it does summon Skeleton Crew. Including Fishwife Nate, great. But they don't attack yet, and neither did Leshy's cards. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this- There's nowhere for that- what about- oh yeah, no, you're right. You're right, because this is- where the limoncello is. Uh, all right then. I guess this is what's going on now. Huh. So I see. It's attacking. It attacked. Tw 
twice because it's in the second zone. So they attack from left to right. So what happened there is this skeleton attacked, Limoncello attacked, I think itself, I can't really tell. Uh, and then these attacked, and then it attacked again because it thinks it's Leshy's card? So it uh, attacked instead of his cards attacking, and that's why his cards aren't attacking is because the game thinks it's also Leshy's card and also my card. I don't know. Well, this is interesting. Oh, there it goes. It's dead. Uh, Leshy has not surrendered this time, so... Uh, that's a problem. I think we're fine, though. What? Oh, his ravens are... Oh, now these are broken again. Oh, those are... So when I play the Limoncello while Leshy has stuff, these cards just kind of go into, uh the dimension between dimensions here. They both exist and don't at the same time. Uh, that's unfortunate. I guess we have to wait a few turns for starvation now. Oh, unless she surrendered. So those ravens are just gonna stay now, right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yep, that's normal. <laughs> They're trying to come up for air. Alright, uh, maybe we should, uh, try this again without the moon or limoncello because if we want to get a full run in here those cards do break the game but it's cool to see them in action uh interesting all right so now these are all of leshy's cards that don't break the game hopefully i guess we'll see all right so we don't want to do a sigil transfer now i want uh i guess a campfire Attack buff, cool. Our best card, you know, I guess we could give pack meal. Nah, that's not good. Our best card is probably Mole Sea Man. So again, Mole Sea Man is uh, a Leshy exclusive card, but it does have blood cost. And this is weird, right? Because Skeleton Crew and Zombie Parrot did not have costs implemented, but another Royal exclusive card did, probably because it was uh, built upon the regular mole man card starvation is free bait bucket is free the trap is free strange frog costs one blood for some reason and pack meal is free for some reason so all right sure uh starvation sure uh that'll work so far so good uh when this deck doesn't break the game it uh seems to function pretty well thus far okay i do like the idea of getting fledgling because i want to see what the names end up being on some of these. Mole Seaman was still just Elder Mole Seaman, so I imagine it would just say Elder no matter what. But like, so what? Elder Leaping Trap? Okay, well, why not? Uh, I don't want Waterborne on these cards though, that's a bad idea. That's a very bad idea. Never mind. Uh, we'll pass for now. Oh cool, another Tadpole. Okay, Woodcarver, I don't think any of my stuff is- actually no, this is a Reptile. And Pack Mule is part of the uh, Hooved tribe. Interesting. So some of them do have tribes. Just those two, though. Uh, so I guess I'll take the Reptile piece. Sure. Why not? Oh, uh, OTK? I'll just OTK Leshy? That's fine. That's, uh, that'll work. Get OTK'd, loser. Yes, thank you for blowing up anyways, skeleton crew. That was necessary. Um, I'll go this way. Another tadpole. <laughs> Why must you taunt me, Leshy? An another rad king. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's helpful. Uh, okay, sure. Unkillable, uh... Steel Frog, whatever it's called. Strange Frog, I mean. It's called Trap Frog in the files. Oh, you also have a Reptile Totem, huh, Leshy? Well, mine is better. Let's see how this works. Let's see. OK, 
Okay, so leaping trap. And yeah, it does respawn in my hand. Okay. Sure, that works. And then we already saw a leaping trap that does give us a pelt. Alright, this is pretty good, I guess. I can just keep summoning strange frogs. <laughs> Go ahead, Leshy, attack them. What's the worst that could happen? I just get a bunch of free pelts. This is gonna be pretty useful for the Trapper Trader boss fight. I can have a lot of pelts. We're gonna have strange frogs versus strange frogs. It'll be quite strange. Alright, Mulsey man. Ah, uh, that's all I've got. Can I sacrifice strange frog, I wonder? No. Alright, so it is a terrain card, can't be sacrificed. That makes sense. Another ta- <clears throat> I'm sick of this leshy guy, I swear, I swear. Uh, another attack buff, I will be giving that to Mulsey Man. Yeah, sure, this is fine, just get rid of this. We'll make Pack Mule move twice. Double movement sigils, a combo for the books, for the ages. Uh, all right, well that works. <laughs> that ought to do it. Ugh, whatever. Whatever, Leshy, I don't care. Well, I mean, so far, it seems that Leshy's cards are indeed quite strong. Uh, they're, they're working pretty well. Just goes to show once again that Leshy is a cheater. He saves all the best cards for himself. What a selfish guy. Child 13 question mark? What if Ijirak copied the moon? How would that work? <laughs> yeah, health. I think we're just gonna put all of our eggs in one basket here. What could go wrong? Well, if we keep drawing Mole Seaman like this, then this will be easy. Uh, here's a... Oh, that was Ijirak. Uh, zero attack points. That's still gonna attack. It's just because it copied a terrain card, it thinks it has no attack points, but it does. Attack buff? Yeah, sure, alright. I think Mole Seaman can, like, s square up with the moon now. No problem. Do people say that anymore? Square up? Am I... <laughs> Never mind. Don't worry about it. Uh-oh. Starvation's weakness. Well, I don't... I didn't draw it, so who cares? Uh, I mean... We'll just summon Mole Seaman and then win, right? Yeah, let's just win. Alright, we've got mycologists coming up, that's good, because I can get rid of this rat king. Uh, I guess I'll take a cockroach. Yeah, why not? Maybe I'll put that on bait bucket or something. Alright, we'll get rid of one rat king now. So I think... That is gonna be our only non... Leshy exclusive card here until I get rid of this as well Except that cockroach we literally just picked up. Yeah <laughs> Forgot about that already mole sea man. Here's bait bucket uh, Not gonna summon pack mule because that would ruin our placement So let's see bait bucket in action It does not it does not give us a shark. Okay, that's a problem wait hold on a second. I I was fully expecting that it would. Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. Thank you for moving twice, Pack Mule. That's very helpful. Uh, sure, I'll put this here. Oh, that was Ejirak. Now it copied a trap. Okay. Wow, so Bait Bucket sucks? Is that... Is that the case? Maybe if I had a shark in the deck, it would summon it from the deck. I doubt it. That's not how it works for Leshy. All right, well, that's not a shark. It was a 20% chance. I gave it a shot. Another attack buff. Uh, this time I'll not give it to Mole Seaman because 
He's already strong enough to go up against the moon. Um, ah yes, the bait bucket, right, because Ijirak is copying it, so I can buff this now for some reason. You know what? Let's give it two attack. It doesn't look like it has two attack, but it might have two attack now. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Um, I could just win, but then I won't have anything for phase two, so let's uh, hold off on that for now. Where's my trap frog? Oh, there he is. Alright, cool. Uh, well, we'll have one empty space. Ow. Ow, do I get a- Whoa, what the heck just happened? <laughs> okay. You triggered my trap card there, Leshy. You've triggered my trap card! Ha 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 Uh, well, I can't really summon anything except this. So, sure. Why not? Alright, I can summon a two blood now. I've got some two bloods. How about, uh, Rat King and Wolf, you can fight the pelt of your fallen brother. Wow, it actually did it. That's ruthless. Evil. Uh, Bait Bucket is Ichirak again, but as you saw there, it had to attack because I buffed the Bait Bucket. Didn't keep that attack when it transformed to Ijirak, which is, uh, normal. That's how that works. Okay. Uh, and there's a mole seaman. Alright, uh, sure. That went well. One more map to go. I'm excited to fight the trapper and trader because it's gonna be interesting when we also have a strange frog and just a loose trap in the deck too. You know, it's funny, they say always pick Mantis God. I pretty much never do. <laughs> Cause it's a one blood cost. Ew. Fair hand mechanic. Um, I don't think we have... Whoa. Ejirak, chill. Calm down there, Ejirak. Uh, I don't think we have many kin cards. This should probably lose it. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, yeah, Bone Lord. We'll get rid of a card. That works. Um, what should we get rid of? Probably this Bait Bucket, because apparently it sucks. I wonder what would happen if we gave him a Terrain card that isn't a Pelt. Probably the same thing that happens when we give him a Pelt. Um, but only one way to find out. Oh. Oh, okay, he liked that. Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense. There were a bunch of fish bones in there. It was already dead though, Bone Lord. That wasn't really much of a sacrifice. I just handed you some chum. Uh, let's summon the strange fr I wasn't trying to- Okay, it's Ejirak. You know what, Leshy? I've had enough of your flack. Uh, we should just be able to win, right? Hold on, nah. What just happened? Wait, what? Why did Mole Seaman just appear in my hand? What? Uh, okay. <laughs> Am I crazy? What just happened? <laughs> what was that? I'm just gonna pretend like that was normal and move on. Hello, Goobert. I'm gonna give you something a little bit different to paint before. You may have never painted one of these before. It's a strange frog. It's a little bit strange. Well, you messed it up, Goobert. I guess I'm not surprised. Uh, whatever. Might as well have just duplicated the trap at that at that rate. SMHing my head, Goobert. All right, I've got a strange frog. He's got a mole man. Sure. Uh, this pack mule is also pretty useless. Um. 
That's gonna move. That's a problem. Whatever, I'll just fill the board up with, uh... Traps. Alright, this may take a while. I don't know how I'm gonna kill these... Moles. Alright, I get some pelts. That doesn't help us. I guess I could use magical bleach and then just, uh... You know, that would be if we had anything that could attack, that is. <laughs> You really had to mess this up, huh, Goobert? Alright, there we go. So, I'll, uh, bleach this stuff, so that it doesn't... Blo okay. We have pack meal. Alright, good. That'll work. I guess I'll take the knife. That's cool. Don't do that too often. So, I guess we could combine the strange frogs. I don't really see how that helps us. Or get a pack. All right, we'll, we'll combine them. If Goober didn't mess this up, maybe it would have been a bit better. Um, oh, this is, yeah, that works. That's an OTK. One turn kill, FTK even, first turn kill, because you can attack on your first turn in Inscription. Can't do that in a certain other card game that shall not be named. Let's go Leaping Trap. Now our traps and our frogs are unkillable. I can keep summoning those. That's definitely not the best play I could have done there, but I don't care. OMG, Exo made another misplay? Okay, I'll just shut up now, never mind. Whoa. Whoa, two in a row? Oh my gosh, three in a row? He's insane? Four in a row? Ah, <sighs> not bad, not a bad run there. Okay, strange frog time. My strange frog is stranger than yours. You know, buffing the health of this thing doesn't... Uh, actually, not a good idea. Um, Alright, long elk, sure. Cool, we've got a vertebrae. Skeleton crew, that'll work. Alright, so what's gonna happen when strange frog atta uh, attacks a leaping trap, I wonder? Uh, here's a zombie parrot. Here's a, a rat king. Alright, so it's gonna die and then uh, summon a trap. Okay. Sure. And then I get another one and I get a pelt and I get another pelt. <laughs> I have a lot of pelts already. And now Leshy's gonna attack the trap and give me another pelt. Alright, I think we have enough pelts. Now... I just summoned this strange frog. We've got five damage on board, which means phase two. I just take his uh, full front row, and then we just win. All right, that'll work. Oh, also, I forgot he gives you an extra pelt. All right, cool. Then I can take his uh, his Freddy Fastbear as well. All right, Leshy. Uh, see ya. I'm just stabbing the table with this. Okay. Hodag, heck yeah. That's the best card to get after the third boss. I will stab your table, Leshy. That one's only for card dueling. No, it's not. Take this. Leshy is desperately trying to get me to stop right now. Alright, fine, Leshy. Fine. You want to lose quicker? Okay, we can arrange that. Uh, one last sigil transfer. I would like to get rid of Turkey Vulture because it sucks and put that sigil on... I don't really care. Okay, here we go. Final boss fight against Leshy using his own cards, his own exclusive cards that he doesn't let us use. Um... I don't know what else to say right now. Okay, we, we have our pack mule. <laughs> doesn't have the pack. Uh, mole Seaman, that'll, that'll work. So, uh, Zombie Parrot and Mole Seaman can take care of his, uh, regular old Mole Man. Or I could stab it, but I won't. Uh, here's a pack mule, by the way. Uh, 
Oh. I thought you were gonna switch places with Mole Seaman Pack Mule, but you just- you didn't. So does that mean this sigil activates first and then Sprinter? Probably. Uh, that's for the best, because that means Mole Seaman took no damage. I don't want you to use that pickaxe, Leshy. He might, though. That hit might happen. Uh... Oh no, Hodag to the rescue? Hold on a second. If I steal... If I stab his tree stump... Uh, okay, uh, there is a rabbit within that tree stump. Oh my goodness. What have I done? Okay, well, Leshy, you can keep your stupid moon. I don't need it. Uh... We'll get rid of starvation, because that's a little unfair. And I'm not gonna use the magical bleach, because that's too easy. Actually, wait, what happens if the moon attacks the trap? That's a question that we need to answer. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, though, because these guys have a lot of attack. Now we should be fine. Uh, okay, there goes Amalgam. Good. And I guess I could uh, use that to get rid of these two. Slightly less damage we're doing to Leshy, the moon. What happens if it attacks a trap? Will it die and give me a pelt? I have another trap, by the way. Uh, that's not necessary. Let's see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's one way to one-shot the moon. Oh, it, there was a wolf in the moon. That would have been funnier, actually, if we just had this at the beginning of that fight. Okay, so Leaping Trap kills the moon, no matter what. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is Ejirak. Alright, understood. Um, I guess that's it then, Leshy. You lost to a, a bear trap. Good job, moron. Another embarrassing defeat for Leshy. Wow, very few misplays that run. That's more like it. So, all of you who keep commenting that I'm making a misplay, uh, look at the- check your facts, okay? You can only point out exactly three misplays throughout this video anymore, and you are factually incorrect. So, you know, try and, uh, <laughs> let me know in the comments what exactly those three misplays were. <laughs> I would love to see what you come up with, and, uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.